Addiction ravages the body, mind, and soul. It circumvents what might be normal decision-making behavior patterns for somebody. You know, when you talk about opioid abuse or substance abuse, it kind of permeates every sector of our society. And we as Missourians, we have a responsibility to address that. Um, it may not affect me personally, may not even affect my immediate family personally, but I can guarantee you that as many people that we interact with on a daily basis, you're gonna run into someone who's got this challenge in their life. We need to shift the conversation from why can't you stop to what made them use in the first place? Which then leads us to a, a much more compassionate society, compassionate culture, compassionate workplace. And it should lead us to the point of trying to lift each other up. We do have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to care, to have concern for and have compassion for this sector of the population in order to, to offer them tools so they can recharge their career. Um, to have a second chance to be a contributing citizen. And we know that we lose people from our state, from our workforce, from their families because of opioid use disorder. There is both an economic toll and then of course there is that personal toll. The number one problem in being in business anywhere in the country right now is workforce shortages. This problem affects businesses across the board, whether you're a small retailer, a large manufacturer, in the service sector, it doesn't matter. In order for us to, to maximize our performance, we have to have the best team. We have to have the best people. And where better to do that than to go after and find the people that are trying and wanting to do their best. These are the people that are in recovery. Recovery-friendly workplaces are the best. And the reason why they're the best is because we get to provide an outlet for these individuals to prove things to themselves that they never thought possible. I am a recovering addict, so I was actually addicted to methamphetamines for almost five years. I had gone to court for that last time, and the judge said, you either change or you go to prison. And I was like, I'm gonna change. And CMH graciously offered me the, this opportunity to be able to come on and I just worked as a little sandwich maker. And then as they believed in me, that I actually um, received my promotion to associate director within four years of just somebody believing in me. The reality is these are, these are good people. They're, they're, they're good people on a, on a beautiful path. Uh, and as an employer, um, it's our responsibility to take advantage of this opportunity. And when 90% of employers are having a tough time hiring, uh, th this is just another tool in the toolbox to, to help them f staff up and, and be able to stay in business. They're out there. They are out there. And they want to come work for you. To be able to, to help facilitate somebody's journey towards success and get a result and be successful in, in our business, in our operation, that's win-win. I don't know any business owner or any employer that doesn't want win-win. The Recovery Friendly Workplace Initiative is so critical to the state of Missouri. It offers an opportunity for partners to gather from the healthcare sector, from the university, from business communities, from state agencies come together to develop a resource for a critical part of our population who is in need. To go to work and to feel like you are contributing, you are building a career, you are adding to society. This is incredibly important to give someone that ability to feel good about going to a new job and they feel like they're contributing and that is really at the crux of this initiative is to reestablish that, that ability to have dignity in our lives again.